Yes? I've nearly completed my investigation. Go ahead. I have a little patience left. Let's summarize the facts. I'm more curious about your conclusions. Not all your money is clean. You can't make a living cultivating violets. Spare me. You bribe guards to ignore your contraband. You say contraband? I say importation. You finance illegal schemes. I'm diversifying risk. And you belong to a secret society. A broad network of associates. I guess you're not the one I'm looking for. How did you arrive at that conclusion? You're a thoroughbred merchant, Luvarden. So tied up in international business that you can't afford getting involved with a group of subversives. Oh? You live off the status quo. All your associates would eliminate you if you threatened the stability of their investments. Nice analysis. Uh, let's discuss this no further. Quit bluffing, Declan. This symbol signifies my secret society. We seek to destroy Salamandra. Learn anything useful? The Salamanders have risked much. This is a political matter, let me tell you. Some larger schemes at play in Redania. Few people know the secret. King Faltest, the Lodge of Sorceresses, and I watch the northern border. How does this relate to Salamandra? Azar Javed has sent a special force north. My men saw them. He too knows something's brewing and is making preparations. Yes? Who issued the warrant for the professor's arrest? My secretary. Why? I told him to. Great, but I still want to know why you're paying bounty hunters to track down bandits. They're not good for business. Your business? All businesses. Listen. There are forces beyond your imagination at work here. Be thankful you don't know the world for what it is. Luvarden, I've heard so many high and mighty speeches that yours doesn't impress me. I don't give a shit about these forces. My only concern is reaching the Salamandra leaders and killing Azar Javed. That I'd like to see. Should you succeed, find me, and I'll reward you handsomely. And if you destroy Salamandra as a whole, I will repay you for your efforts. That won't be easy. I may come see you again, and I'll be counting on your assistance. I'll help if I can. See you later. Yes? I have 500 orans, though it's quite a price to pay for a stone. I sadly relinquish it, but my reputation would suffer, as would my business, if I did not deal. The Sephira is yours.
Are you lost? Who lives here? Don't answer a question with a question. Let me rephrase. Some nerve. This is Ramsmeet's house, and he never spoke of a visiting mutant, so scram. Looking for something? Beat it, or I'll tear your head off. Fuck. Oh, really? Hush. What do you want, Wolf? Want the truth about Salamandra? I'm listening. Someone wanted me to believe you led Salamandra. And I thought Salamandra sent you. Hmm, that's interesting. They really liked me out of the saddle. They tried to poison me and sent several masked assholes out to assassinate me. But that's all too little for Uncle Ramsmy. I thought you were their next attempt. I know you're fighting Salamandra. I'm hunting them too. Javed wants to take over my business. He decided to start with the girls. Know why? Though he left Zerakini a long ago and trained to be a mage, deep inside, he's remained a fucked up wild man. Now you get it? Not really. He's driven by instinct. Thinks with that Zerakanian cock of his. And he's got some strange fetishes. Likes fire. 
My girls are scared shitless, and they don't scare that easily. Thanks. That helped. No problem. See ya. Yes? This investigation is getting expensive. I'm not the Prophet Labiota. I can't live on roots and berries. Neither can my informers. I guarantee you these are the bare necessities. All right. Two hundred orans. Down to business. They transferred the prisoner after the attack. Not good. Especially since we won't get anything else out of him. He died last night. How did that happen? Well, he wasn't in great shape, so I guess it's no surprise. But I have a feeling... Someone helped him along? Exactly. Shani is a good friend of yours, right? Ask her to do an autopsy. Once we know the cause of death... Wait a minute. Are you spying on me? That's my job. See you later. Yes? Do we really need to do this autopsy? We can't move forward without it. See you later. Teach you manners? I'm here to see Shani. Sits in a room entertaining guests and pays next to nothing in rent! Uh-huh. 
poor kitten. Her mother can't even afford food for her. I don't dare feed her the medic's food. She'll likely fall sick. Will you take pity on the kitty? Get out! Stomping into my home like that! But... Sorry, I got lost in thought. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. What do you need? Show me your wares. Mr. Chive says you're right and honorable, so I see no reason not to trade. Here you are. I need to get back to work. I need you to help me with an autopsy. What? That's illegal. It's necessary. Visit me at night. We'll talk. Where are you staying? I have a room in the northeastern end of Vizima. Easy to find? Opposite the house, there's a small square with a sculpture of a snake. Quickly, I need to get back to work. Where's the orderly? She takes a breather in the garden most afternoons. See ya.
Ashes to ashes.
I don't recall inviting you, but come in. I'm not entertaining anybody right now. I'm here to see Shani. Get out! Stomping into my home like that! But... Sorry, I got lost in thought. Quickly, I need to get back to work. Where are you staying? I have a room in the northeastern end of Vizima. Easy to find? Opposite the house, there's a small square with a sculpture of a snake. Quickly, I need to get back to work. in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
I'm here to see Shani. Sits in a room entertaining guests and pays next to nothing in rent! Poor kitten, her mother can't even afford food for her. I don't dare feed her the medic's food. She'll likely fall sick. Be silent and let me pass. Get out! Stomping into my home like that! But... The end is nigh! The likes of you is proof enough. Nothing personal. I'm here to see Shani. The white frost approaches. I feel it in my bones. You don't know how it is living in a cold house in your old age. Stomping into my home like that? But... I don't recall inviting you, but come in. I'm not entertaining anybody right now. I'm here to see Shani. Get out! Stomping into my home like that! But... Old, grey and still chasing skirts, you should be ashamed! It's not like that, good woman. No need for charm. The girl's busy. Then could you please tell her? Didn't your mother teach you better manners? She'd not forgive herself for raising such a monster. But... What can I do for you? What do you need? Think of your children. What a day! They have nothing but money. We'll talk later. Trinkets and baubles. Think of your children. Ah, crap. I'm wasting time. I'm feeling under the weather. Madness!
books, scrolls, parchments. Welcome! Make yourself at home! Oh, you're getting old, Granny! Finally, you found me. Looks like it. How'd you get past the old hag? That nice lady downstairs? She's made my life hell. Old people are like that. At least my rent is low. Doctors earn little in Temeria. Many leave. You stayed. Someone had to. Anyway. Yes? Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I heard you saw Cohen shortly before he died. That's right. How did you know? I found his sword. He died during the battle at Brenna, on my operating table. You were a medic at Brenna? I worked alongside a surgeon named Rusty. Best doctor I ever knew. Knew? He died when the Catriona Plague erupted, in Maribor. Though a halfling, he could operate like no one else. He made everything seem simple. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, and everything will be all right. Ugh. You wouldn't understand. Sorry, Shani. I didn't know him. Do you know anything about this sword? No, but you should ask the dwarf, Sultan Chive. His knowledge of weapons is unmatched.
Yes. You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. I'm listening. Remember Dandelion? Well, we're trying to organize a gathering. A gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However... Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. What do you need? Cherry vodka for Dandelion, rosé wine for me, and something for you. I'll try. Yes? Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I need your help with an autopsy. An autopsy? Since when do you deal with stuff like that? Since I started investigating Salamandra. Okay, though, I'm no coroner. You'll have to interpret our findings. We'll meet in the evening. Until then, gather as many clues as possible. I'll sniff around. Get the body from the grave digger. We'll meet at the hospital in the evening. How do I find information to help the autopsy? Ask Vincent Mice, but also look for books on anatomy and pathology. Farewell. Yes? Shani. I wanted to talk. What is it? Sometimes I dream about the Battle of Brenna. The massacre. I'm sorry. But that's it. I'm not sorry. I wake up refreshed and it's like I'm used to suffering. Does that make sense? It does. Thanks. Sometimes it's good to share. Don't mention it. What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship, not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. Farewell.
Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you want? to rest. fight each other. Some wager on the outcome. Sometimes they beat up visitors. Altogether boring. Let's go out back. I was jesting. My man would tear off my head if I went with you. Maybe we should risk it. No. He beat me so badly recently I spit out a tooth. <laughs> 